Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to interpret an imagery or anything else, uh, to be honest, uh, image in remote sensing in QGIS to, you know, can we analyze it so we can do anything with it. So first we're going to put the image, make sure the image is already, uh, already well, georeference. If you can see my previous video, you already how to georeference image. So it's the picture that we use, the image we use. The first is that uh, we're gonna make a new layer as a polygon, you know, to make sure that uh, the area uh, as a tool to you know to delineate. We're gonna name it maybe interpretation. As shown, maybe we're gonna save it somewhere in, in here. It's happy, and it's gonna be polygon. Okay. The, the CRS is fine, doesn't really matter actually. Maybe the first is label. Maybe what kind of. Oh no, I mean, maybe like land cover or something. What is it actually? Maybe then use. Yeah. Maybe we can put uh, like what column again? Mm. Like label. No, number, number of label. We're just gonna use uh, a whole number, I think. Then we're gonna add text again, string. Maybe uh, like the tone, color. We're gonna add it. Then texture, pattern, shape. Size, height, <coughs> uh, again, shape, size, height, location, texture, pattern, yeah, and unit, I think, location, and unit, is it enough, the ID, no label, something like that, we're gonna use, okay, I think, so we create a new one, Ta so we set it here, but we have not make another one. I mean, no, not another. You we know, like what kind of image is this? We just made it one. So, how to use this shape? So, well, we use press this pencil. So we can create a new well polygon. For example, this one. Uh, let's say we're gonna delineate. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe this area, resident area. I don't know. It's a lot of area in here. Let's try this one first. No, maybe this one. This one's smaller, I think. Mm. So from here, maybe this area. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's try again. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's try this one. Save. Maybe then cover is gonna be uh, built. Build up. Maybe it's resident. Label. We're gonna use one in this one. Tone color. Well, dark. <laughs> uh, the texture. Uh, well, it's gonna be coarse. Pattern. Hmm. Pattern is structural. Structural, I think. A square, uh, maybe a rectangular. Shape, random. The shape would be um, I think it's also rectangular. I think. <laughs> maybe this. I think the pattern would be like uh, tile. The size is or each file will be well, small the height it will be well i don't know you can do it no location uh inside a road maybe location close to each other <laughs> we need i don't know this for this one Ta -da. so this is uh 
from the sample. Maybe another one should be uh, well, this area. Maybe this kind of area. Mm, maybe this one. My yeah, already university. Area. So we're gonna we're gonna like this one. Okay, then copper is gonna be built up, and this will be uh, education. I will put two. Turn color would be well, diverse, <laughs> in dark texture, of course. I think pattern, random shape, uh, rectangular. Size, pick, <laughs> I don't know, location. Oh. I don't know, we need, I don't know, just <laughs> put there. Okay, maybe another one will be, let's try this area. Mm, we don't know what is it. <laughs> let's try this area, this one, kind of farm. Okay. Maybe uh, actually shoulder, shoulder, same. No level which we turn color bright green. Texture fine. Pattern not pattern shape small. Uh, size height location. Nice. Okay, I think this three is enough. So we're gonna save it first. Save. Yep. Okay, this legend to decide to differentiate, categorize. We're gonna use a million cover. We're gonna use random color, classify. Hmm. Uh, like this one. <laughs> Let's try then use. Oh, yeah. well, we'll classify first. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you can well uh, change the what the color maybe. Maybe you want it to be transparent. It's possible. Configure color. Capacity. Well, this one. Oh, this kind of. You can also put a label on it. For example, we're gonna. Here we're gonna add labels, uh, single label based on maybe uh, the land use. If you apply, you're gonna be there. But let's say you want to change the color, or maybe add a mess, a buffer, or shadow. I think we'll say add shadow. No, no, I think we're gonna, we're gonna let's try with shadow. Then something like that. Or maybe you can use a uh, number to decide uh, the no really is not no label. Yep, just like that one. Maybe you can put a call out if you uh, say you want to move the label. For example, you can use first we need to check the draw call out first. Yeah, we can move the label, press this one, and we're gonna use yeah. this move a label. <laughs> We're gonna use this number level. Yeah. <laughs> Pick this one. Cool. All right. Okay. Maybe we're done. I think. Let's try change this one. Maybe change the color. I think. Maybe add a mass, a buffer, a white buffer. Also can be seen. Same with the call out. We're gonna add yeah. like a, a style. We're gonna use a wet. Yeah. Yeah. This one, cool, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> can also the change game label. We're gonna use a flat cover. Or let use. Ta da, like this one. This one example you can expand it anymore. There's a lot of creative way. 
Oke, okay, thank you, Mbak.